And to think that some people are shocked by the fact that 90% of people fail. I'm not shocked. In this week's episode of Clay Trader Mail, I wanna look at a message that I got through the website. Actually, it wasn't directed to me, uh, it was to uh, Chez who does, for those of you that watch the podcast, Chez is the co-host. He also does customer service and sales stuff. So he interacted with this person and then he shot me over this reply that they gave them as he was saying, hey Clay, this would probably be good Clay Trader Mail material and he was absolutely right to look at this person's attitude, to see just kind of what their solution to an issue is. It's just, it really is the definition of insanity. You know, trying something over and over again and then expecting different results. I mean, this person's obviously done one thing that has led to outcome A, but instead of trying to do something else to lead to a better outcome, they're just gonna, I don't wanna spoil it. Let's just get to this comment that Chez received and as soon as I read it, I'm sure you're gonna see all the glaring issues with it. I'm not interested to learn. I'm interested to gain back my loss. One thing I will give this person full props for is at least they're not beating around the bush. At least they're not really in denial of anything per se in the sense of saying all the right things. Oh yeah, yeah, I wanna learn. I, oh yeah, yeah, I, I understand that I have to learn. Oh yeah, yeah, it would be beneficial to learn. And then their actions just totally don't meet up with their words. Like I said, full credit, this person's like, no, 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 no. I'm not interested in learning. I, I don't wanna learn. I just wanna get back my loss. Well, you see the problem here. How, how are you gonna get back your loss if you don't learn? Clearly they haven't learned already and that's what's led to this loss. So just gambling. Maybe they think they know what they're doing but they clearly don't. Uh, because they've already admitted they haven't learned and they already have a loss and yet they're just interested in, hey, help me get back this loss. In other words, tell me what to buy, tell me when to sell. I, I just wanna, to, to puppet trade, I wanna take the laziest path forward. And as I've talked about time and time again, if only trading was that easy. I get a lot of services out there at size, you know, our email alerts, we have text messages. I mean, think about how nice it would be and I use this uh, analogy all the time. You're out on the golf course, your phone buzzes, you pull it out, okay, buy here, buy, okay, set my, okay, put your phone back, you know, five holes later, your phone buzzes, oh, okay, now it's time to sell, sell, put it back in, you know, three holes later, you check, okay, order confirmation, nice, I just made 500 bucks out on the golf course, just living, if only, if only. Now, a lot of people out there, they're gonna make you think that it actually is that easy, of course, they want you to sign up for their service. But, so I understand why this person is not interested in learning, they just are all after the, hey, tell me this, tell me that. But that is such the wrong attitude. The only way to have success in the market is you have to learn, and you have to learn how to use tools that you can build a strategy for yourself. And these are the people where they, they don't stand a chance with this mentality. I hope this person changes their thought process. I wish them all the best. But this is literally like taking candy from a baby when you have somebody out there that doesn't know what they're doing and then you just kind of sprinkle in the fact that now they're already frustrated because they've lost money, it just compounds the problem of the stupidity that they're gonna do. Have you ever wondered when you... Stupid Mike. Why are they coming off today? I don't know. Nothing like when your mic falls off. Anyways, back to my original point. Have you ever wondered when you're trading, how did I just get somebody to buy my shares at that crazy level? Like that's insane, who would buy shares up there? Or I can't believe I was just able to buy shares. Who in the world would sell something that low down? Here's an example of the people that are gonna do that, that are acting irrationally because A, they don't know what they're doing and B, now they're frustrated because they have losses and they just wanna get them back. Learning, screw that. I just wanna get my loss back. And these people are running around all over the place. This is not a unique situation at all. The one unique part is at least this person isn't in denial about the fact that they don't wanna learn. So I, like I said, give them credit there. So that is somewhat unique. Most people aren't that brutally honest about it in a blunt of no, 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 no. I, I don't care about learning. Just I wanna get my loss back. Can you get my loss back or not? But at the core, there's all sorts of people out there running around with this mentality. Whether they're in denial about it or not is besides the point. The point is, that is their thought process. They're running around everywhere 
and they are creating opportunities for those people that actually do know what they're doing. So investing into your education, understanding how the market works, building a strategy is gonna allow you to take advantage of situations like this. And I mean, it sounds bad, but to take advantage of people like this, there is stupidity in the market. I was stupid once, maybe you were stupid once, maybe you're stupid right now. There's nothing wrong with being stupid. The, the question becomes, are you gonna be able to change from being stupid, or are you gonna remain stupid like this person where you get to the point where you're like, no, I, I realize I have a loss, I don't even care about improving, I just want my loss back. That is the epitome of stupidity. I think that, yeah, that rhymed, or I don't know if it rhymed, but it made sense. But don't be like that, that is the moral of the story here. Hopefully I'm kind of just barking up a tree that you're already well aware of but it exists out there all over the place. And maybe if you are like this, if you're being honest with yourself, yeah, just know that it's not as easy as just getting text messages sent to your phone. If you are out there trading alone currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link, so if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly what is going to you know, be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything, and that way you'll know precisely what you are getting uh, you know, when you join. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know, wanting to join a community, and let me know if you have any questions.